Today is October 30th. We're setting up for a virtual tasting today and we're going to show you exactly what that looks like, all the ins and outs, and um, show you the process. So let's get started. It takes a lot of time uh, and effort uh, and equipment to really put together a virtual case, and at least the way that we do it here. You know, you got. Uh, I have two cameras, I got two tripods, I've got two different uh, light stands, I've got lights for those light stands, I've got uh, packs um, to, to make sure that those light stands have power, I have batteries for those cameras, I have our switcher system, I have the camera links on that switcher system, I have uh, microphones, uh, and uh, I, I, I have a computer to run all of the systems and to view the stream live. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff uh, and it can get very overwhelming with the amount of equipment that we have here, but it's well worth it in the end product. John, are you ready for the for the virtual tasting? I came a long way for this tasting. <laughs> I really <laughs> looking forward to it. Yeah, you uh, you came in costume, yeah. No, it's my work clothes. Uh, where's your costume? Hey, my family says I'm already scary enough. I figured I didn't need to dress up. I'm dressed up as a winemaker, and that's that's really fantasy. <laughs> uh, preparing for a virtual tasting, um, number one is we have to make sure or decide what we're pouring, uh, make sure that it meets our discriminating palates, and then get it packaged so that the customers can come and pick it up and enjoy it with us. So the wines that we are pouring tonight um, or at any of our virtual tastings go into little vials. 50 milliliter vials, and uh, with the name of the wine um, and the order that we're pouring them so that they can uh, enjoy it. Uh, we're pouring Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, Cabernet, and Petit Syrah. Uh, the three reds we're pouring is because um, there are going to be new releases uh, into this year, and we did not do them in the first tasting. The Chardonnay, John and I just love, so we decided we wanted to talk about it some more. We just love that one. Hey, well, good evening. Thank you guys for joining us at our uh, virtual tasting of some pre-releases. I had some bad news. I got some bad news today. Uh, my co-winemaker John couldn't make it, but he was at least nice enough to send some support. He sent Billy Butcher Butcherson here to uh, uh, help me out today. Billy, would you like to uh, say a couple words? Billy, what are you, what, what are you doing? Didn't you mind teach him not to play with knives? Good evening. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Royal Cellars. Live and almost live. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the virtual tasting tonight. So, with live video, unfortunately, sometimes you run into issues. Um, you know, on this specific shoot, uh, 
when the mic stopped working halfway through and even then when we swapped it it wasn't still working 100% so that was one of the big issues um, and the other issue is that our internet kind of crapped out about halfway through uh, I was frequently having to go in and change settings to when we were uploading it um, to go live so sometimes you know you run into these issues but with with live video it's a lot of it's a lot of just trial and error trying to fix what you can on the fly and doing your best to figure out what you can do um, it's kind of a very similar to winemaking in that sometimes you'll run into issues and you'll do your best to come up with a solution that will then fix what you're trying to do and give you the best outcome sometimes things things don't work as planned but you do what you can and you fix issues, you know, put out fires as they come up and uh, you come out with a product that's not exactly perfect, not, not what you were expecting, but uh, it's totally acceptable. Uh, virtual tasting went great. Um, John and I probably talked way too much about the wines, but we love to do that. We love to talk about wine. We love to tell people more things than they probably want to know, but um, that's us. Um, and as John and I were just talking about, we totally love the wines that we've produced. And it's the culmination of what John and I have been working towards is where is we have control over all what we're doing here. So virtual tastings are great because um, we set the lineup. We know what the wines we're talking about. And we don't have to, we have a captive audience. If people are tuning into a virtual tasting, they're interested in doing that, um, that they can hold a conversation with themselves and we don't have to try to go out and explain the wines in between their um, conversations which, with each other. So it really is a great way uh, to um, taste our wines, learn more about our wines without having to come out being COVID safe, um, without having to set up tables in the parking lot. Um, so there, there are a lot of positives about doing uh, virtual tastings. Um, it's a production, so it does take a little bit more time, but um, it allows us to um, talk about our wines uninterrupted and not have to try to fit what we want to tell people in between their conversations. It was great to share our new wines. John and I are very excited about them. We can't wait till they're released as soon as we get labels, um, which are in the process. So please um, come out, uh, keep watching our website for when the new releases will be out, and um, come out anyway. Even if they're not released, you can taste some of our other wines, which are pretty tasty. <laughs>